fresh talent uh, that exists in, and I'm not talking of technical uh, education, I am talking of management education here. Um, I think there has been uh, in the past a tremendous gap between what's taught on campus and what corporate uh, um, uh, culture really demands and expects. This is true of um, skills, this is true of competencies, this is true of uh, the ability to collaborate and work in very difficult teams because at the um, on the campus you're looking at case studies uh, in, a, in a more sanitized, more saner version than really what the corporate uh, uh, life is about or what the corporate culture is like. Uh, and also the pressure for performance uh, is, is, is on the academic side. It is not about uh, delivering um, while facing friction. Uh, it's not delivering um, against timelines where the locus of control may not be with the individual, it may be either with another colleague, it may be with a senior, it may be with an internal customer, it may be with a vendor, it may be with an external customer. So um, the environment in which uh, corporate life uh, operates is far more complex than life on campus. Uh, and so it's very difficult uh, for people who are mired in theory to make the transition. Um, uh, one uh, thing that I do believe that uh, uh, can give a significant uh, impetus to being able to deliver once placement is done and someone has entered the workforce is if we can redefine the uh, internship uh, and make it more, much more lifelike. So which means that the corporates and management uh, uh, institutes as well as uh, students have to work uh, very closely together to enable this. So projects have to be more, more defined, uh, better defined, uh, better contoured, with clear deliverables, almost, uh, uh, you know, a KPI has to be laid out for the person who's doing the summer internship. Uh, and or uh, there has to be an element of functional rotation because a lot of times um, the uh, MBA hopeful is uh, not very clear about what they would like to uh, specialize in. And it's, it's uh, uh, and unfortunately in India, uh, for a lot of people, it is their first brush with uh, working life because a lot of people in India uh, enter management education without prior work experience. But, and I do disagree with that because there is a tremendous amount of value that can be derived by somebody studying management post uh, significant work experience. So significant work experience could be two years, it could be more. Uh, but um, I think that should be a prerequisite. So um, if the management institute is not forcing it or if uh, the norms within, uh, within our educational system don't force it, I do think that students should uh, take a hard look at um, uh, you know, redefining uh, then their uh, own understanding of what's going to succeed and perhaps create more opportunities for themselves to have work experience um, uh, not only uh, post-college but during college and post-high school. There has to be much more flexibility towards that. Uh, so, uh, so there's flexibility throughout. Then th there comes the, uh, 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 you know, then there comes the watershed point of uh, doing an internship, uh, which is more in line with what you'd like to explore further. And then finally comes the final placement. Um, uh, the management student is uh, well served when he or she chooses the employer with. Uh, with caution. It's not only about um, uh, getting placed, but it's getting placed correctly. I'm not saying getting placed well, because there's a lot of difference between uh, final placement, which is very good, and this final placement, which uh, serves the ends of, uh, of the individual for a longer period of time. So it's not about, um, so you have to be very cautious about uh, choosing your final employer uh, when, when you're graduating from uh, your MBA. Um, and to look for um, well-defined, well-contoured uh, management uh, training programs if, if they are available. Understanding the role uh, rather than trying to impose um, education uh, on the canvas of the role uh, right away because uh, it's important to be open, uh, it's important to be flexible and it's important to be adaptable uh, and only then can the, um, can the new entrant into the workforce really hope to succeed in due course of time. It's also important not to be impatient.